30 foot right that uh, they could carry that, people that can carry people or even even a drone even a drone that right. can be weaponized right. You know, right things like that okay and all right so where where are they headed from here well right now there's snafus in the final let's see what happens if, if the thing gets financed by certain uh very high profile foundations and things like that and so that's where it is right now whether uh the actual uh check is going to be written where the fat lady is going to sing on, on the finances. But uh, the point is that there's also other technologies, clean energy technologies, more orthodox, like the conversion of uh, uh, tidal uh, waves into electricity in a very ecologically friendly way, the conversion of uh, dirty coal into direct electricity, uh, again, in a way that doesn't increase the CO2 content in the atmosphere, so you don't have to worry about claims of uh, man-induced global war warming. There are other technologies there that were also being discussed in addition to the uh, exotic propulsion technology. Are these related technologies that, that, that would be spin up? Could you call these spin-offs from, no, no, from no, the no, propulsion no, technology? No, okay. no, no, there, 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 there may be some connections in some cases, but no, basically these are you know, well-established physical principles and these are, I'm talking about not technologies that are working prototypes. Right. Not, so that, you know, that they're not just speculative. I mean, obviously, any kind of radical breakthrough in propulsion technology would have energy generation. Oh, yeah, uh, of course. Enormous yeah, energy. Let, okay, let, let, me, let me explain something. Uh, there's a standard Department of Defense uh, criteria for the different levels of technology readiness. And it goes from like level one to level nine. Level one is where the science, the actual basic physical science involved in the claims is still in dispute, but there's some kind of you know, evidence that, uh, that the technology is possible. And the UFO uh, propellantless propulsion technology is only at level one because of the UFO sightings and people like Bruce McAbee and the NITS, you know, where, uh, they, uh, where there's a lot of evidence that the technology is real, they're real machines that could do these, these, these uh, dramatic U-turns at you know, Mach 3 or 4, or maybe Mach 10, things like that. And that suggests an anti-gravity uh, component. component. Yeah. But that's still at what the Pentagon would call level one. It's still highly dubious, highly speculative, and the project that we're discussing in terms of UFO uh, propellant propulsion technology is at Department of Defense level one. The other technologies, like the conversion of coal into electricity without contaminating the, ap the atmosphere with like CO2, the conversion of uh, tidal uh, uh, waves at the coastal, like the Coastal Commission sort of stuff, at coastal waves into direct electricity, that is at level four or five. Very different. See, I mean, that they were like good working models. I mean, right. that's, that's proven technology. Right. That's just now a, a matter of scaling it up. And I'm uh, helping with uh, getting some of uh, you know, traditional funding, mainly from big oil companies to, who want to diversify to, to go into that technology. So that's like a done, I mean, that, that, there's no question that's going to work. Mm -hmm. it's the, that would just be a, a political question, like with the, co with the Coastal Commission of California, for example, allow these converters, they, they involve liquid right, metals. Right. They, would have to get a, they would have to get a coastal permit coastal to do that within, like within, that. within there's coastal you know, There's political issues there. Of course. Uh, but, I mean, that, would be, preferable. that would be preferable to offshore drilling, which is what McCain and others are proposing now, which yeah. is well, not very popular. With, yeah, not with, popular. But this is an alternative. It's ecological. And, uh, by the way, we also had, there was also a guy named Brad Sorensen there, and he has a very, what seems to be a very efficient wind turbine system that's better than the, than what you see up at Altamont Pass, you know, much better and much more efficient, like twice as efficient. Uh, and it actually looks like a flying saucer. It's, it's, really? So it would be less likely to impact birds, which yeah, is a yes. real problem. Yeah, yeah. So, so there were several there. levels to this meeting. Yeah. Some were discussing these clean energy technologies, which are at level four or five on the uh, Pentagon scale. All right, if these, here's radio. a hypothetical. If these clean energy technologies turned out to be worthwhile, and economically feasible and potentially profitable. Do you think there is the possibility that both private and governmental concerns would take some of the windfall profits associated with those developments and put them into more exotic technologies, such well, as? Well, if, if this particular, that's always a possibility, of course. Yeah. 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 
But remember, in the case of the UFO technology, that somebody has it already. And, and parts of our government, or pri well, the, the claim now is that parts of private industry have split off from the government, from the U.S. government, and that they have controlled this technology. But, you know, I don't know. But uh, we do see these strange things in the skies, which shows that the technology is real and exists. Um, in terms of the extraterrestrial... Well, yeah, witness the, the latest flap in England the last week right, or so. I mean, right. multiple sightings of soldiers taking cell phone shots of... UFO fleets. Yeah, by the way, do you have uh, URLs of that? Uh, yeah, I do, somewhere, okay, yeah. yeah. Well, see. they're saying, they, there's, the debunkers are saying that they were Chinese lanterns released from a wedding, but uh, Chinese lanterns don't spin and flash lights yeah. like these were. Were you telling me about the sun? Were you the little guy telling me about the the, uh, the sun, which is the popular paper in England? Oh, uh, yeah, the sun has been running UFO stories for the last week on its front page, which is pretty unprecedented for them since it's the biggest newspaper in England. Yeah. And... Uh, 